Hello guys, today I'm answering an email related to eloquent with count function and I will show you a few tricks around that. And generally I don't do personal consultations because my time is very limited, but sometimes I do pick the emails where I see that this topic would be useful for all of the audience on my YouTube channel. So this is an example. The question is about counting the departments with gender of employments. So there's with count of employers, but how to count the employees by male and female separately. And I've tried to recreate that project locally. And this is the simple scenario of with count. And in this video, we will get to the female and male users step by step. So generally how you use with count. In this case, I've chosen role, not department, but it's the same scenario. So role with count of users, it has many relationship. And then you get the data and in the blade, for example, you have role and then for each of the role you have users count. So this is a typical with count usage. Now, how do you add conditions to with count to also calculate female and male separately or whatever is your condition? In the database, I have this data. So 10 users, 10 fake users, two roles, users with gender, male or female and with role ID one and two. Gender is just a string field. So how do we transform this table role users to have female users and male users? First, let's count one group and I will show you that you can add a condition to with count here. So instead of just users, you get into array and array key is users relationship and array value is a callback function where you pass builder query as a parameter. And in fact, there are a few builder classes. So be careful to have eloquent builder. And then inside of that, you have query where, for example, gender female like this. And then in the blade, you have users count with female users. Let's refresh and see if we have fewer users here, three and three. So now it calculates only female users. Let's see if it's correct. So we have three female users with role ID two and three female users with role ID one seems correct. So this is how you can add a condition to with count in general. Now, what if you want to add two conditions? So load users with count of female and then male. Since we have an array here, we can add a separate second element. So we can copy all of that, then comma, paste, and now we have female and male, different conditions loading with count for both of them. The problem, however, is that we have the same keys, users and users, and even PHP Storm underlines that because array cannot have the same keys. But Laravel allows us to assign an alias, a name. So users as female users, for example, and then users as male users, for example. And then in the blade, let's uncomment male users, uncomment that one. And interestingly, if you have alias, if you have as, then the result of with count is not relationship underscore count. It's specifically this text, this string that you've chosen. So female users like this, and then male users like this. And if we refresh, oh, I forgot to delete the users here. And now we have female users and male users separately. But if you do want to stick to underscore count here, so it would be readable for blade file reader in the future for developer, then you need to specifically assign count here manually. Let's refresh and see if I didn't break anything. Yep, it's correct. So the main thing here is that you can add with count with the same table with different conditions and assign different aliases to the result. And also we can shorten this code and offload it to the model itself. If you see that you have those conditions repeating in other parts of your application, in other controller or service or whatever, you can define specifically relationship with condition. So if we open role here, we can have users, but we can also have users female, where gender female, users male, where gender male. And then in the controller, you don't need to load with count separately with conditions. We have users female underscore and uh, we don't need that users male like this. And then in the home blade, we have 
like this mail count should be working so now the controller is much shorter all the logic is inside of the model relationships and if we refresh we refresh the result doesn't change so it's still correct so if you have repeating relationships like this with conditions probably it is worth creating those relationships in the model itself to be reused elsewhere in the application if you want more tips or tricks like this one about Eloquent, currently I'm starting to reshoot my old, old course called Eloquent Expert Level, which was in Laravel five days in 2019 from what I remember. So it's not in my courses list yet, but it should be released, I hope in October or November. And if you want to get all the courses, including that upcoming one and the courses that you can see on the list here, subscribe to the membership of my laraveldaily.com to get all the courses and any premium content that I release. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.